Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to use the change of base formula to evaluate for a logarithm. Now, while many calculators um, allow you to kind of choose whatever base you like to, um, some calculators you still can only use logarithms in base 10, and natural logarithms obviously would just be with base e. So <clears throat> what I want to do is at least present the formula for you. And then I was also showing you, because if you have a calculator where you cannot use, where you cannot determine the base, you have to use log base 10. So I'll kind of give you at least a, a couple of different ways we can do this. Now, for the first two problems, though, you should at least know what the answers are. But I want to use the change of base formula. So therefore, we can see why it works and how it works. So basically, the change of base formula is if you have a logarithm, base b of a, then we can take that we can take the logarithm of any base y of a and divide it by log of that same base of b. Or we could do the natural log, which would obviously the base. Therefore, then, if you did the natural log, then y would equal e, right? So it would be the natural log of a over the natural log of b. Or you could also just look at it you know, as log a over log b in your calculator, because majority of calculators, for instance, like a scientific like this, only has log in base 10, whereas some TI calculators um, you can actually determine, you can change your base. So if we were to look at this, we know this is going to be base 10, right? So what I want to do is let's go ahead and use this as log base 10. Let's do our change of base formula for this. So therefore, I can rewrite this as log base 10 of 100 divided by log base 10 of 10. Excuse me. So if I change this into log base 10 of 10 divided by log base 10 of, of 10. So I, that was my a, and this is my b. Now, again, we already know what log base 10 of 10 is, right? 10 raised to what power gives you 100? We should know the answer is 2. Well, 2 over 1, which just equals 2. OK? Um, ah, you know what? I don't want to do this again. Let's change this. Uh, let's do this to, let's do 4 over 8. That will work. Yeah. OK, so now if I was going to do a problem like this, log base 4 of 8. Now, I could rewrite this to any logarithm, right? And the easiest probably would be, if you're going to use your calculator, would just be log of 8 divided by log of 4. right? And you can just plug in your calculator, and I'll show you what to do for those in just a second. However, um, I want to prove to you that this works. So if you were to look at this, instead of using log base 10, let's use log base 2. So therefore, to rewrite this, I'm going to have my y is going to be 2. So my a is 8. So it's log base 2 of 8 over log base 2 of 4. Now remember, again, you, y, you can choose whatever base you want to. So your a and your b have to remain there. But you can choose whatever base you want to. For your calculator, you're going to have to use, um, more than likely, you're going to have to use log base 10. Because that's you're just typing log, and it'll automatically be base 10. Or you could use natural log. However, without a calculator, 2 raised to the eighth, 2 raised to what power gives you 8? 3. 2 raised to what power gives you 4? 2. So the answer is 3 halves. And if you were to verify that in your calculator, you could do log of 8. Actually, let's just do that. Log of 8 divided by log of 4. And what do you get? I get 1.5, which is 3 halves, decimal version. All right, so over here, um, again, as I, as I was mentioning, let's, uh, I'm going to work on this a couple different ways. So if I was going to use my calculator, now in this case, I don't have the bases are the same. I can't rewrite them like I did over here and use a pick a base. So therefore, I'm simply, for my calculator, I'm going to do log of 8 over the log of 3. So simply in my calculator, I'm just going to find my log. And I'm going to do log of 8. I'm going to close my parentheses, divided by the log of 3. Close parentheses. And I get 1.8, uh, 1.892789. So therefore, I'm approximating. So we can say it's going to be approximate 1 point. I'm going to round to the 100th, 89. All right. And the next example over here, um, again, you can use log base 10, but most cal all calculators that are going to have logarithm are also going to have your natural logarithm. So since the base y doesn't matter, I could also do ln of 4 divided by the ln of 7. So basically, you're taking the logarithm of your value and then the logarithm of your base, of your logarithm, using the change of base formula. So it doesn't matter if I type in log or ln, but I'll just do ln of 4 divided by the ln of 7. And in this case, I get approximately 0 0.7, 0 0.71 when I round to my nearest hundredth. 
Now, a lot of times students will have problems when we're doing fractions. Um, I'm not really too sure. It doesn't really matter. Um, I can show you at least how to type them in. I wouldn't recommend rewriting um, or typing in the decimal because, for instance, if you do 7 divided by 8, you get 0.75. 1 divided by 5, it gets 0.2. I think I was trying to pay. Um, the main important thing is I would recommend using your parentheses um, when typing these into your calculator. So here I can do, I'll do logarithm, log of 7 over 8 divided by the log of 3. So I'm going to type log, and I'm going to do 7 divided by 8, end parenthesis, and then divide that by the log of 3. And I get negative 0.12, negative 0.12 when I round to the hundredth. And then over here, it doesn't matter. You can use ln. You can use log. I'll just do ln because I like to switch it up. So I'll type in ln of 1 fifth divided by the ln of 1 fourth. So I'll type in ln of 1 divided by 5. Again, I don't want to use the decimal approximation. Um, I'll just do the exact fraction divided by ln of 1 divided by 4. And therefore, I approximate that to 1.16. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you use your change of base formula to evaluate for a logarithm. Thanks.